All right, guys, how are you doing today? I want to tell you a tale of two coins. One is Pay, or 10X. The other is Ethereum Classic. So I invested in Pay, as you know, here. I got in, I got in over here at some point. It rallied, and then it started to roll over. Uh, I did not want to see this action. I just exited my Pay position, as a matter of fact. So those of you asking if I'm still holding this, I am not. I'm out of this particular one. When they behave like this and start to roll over, um, not very often do they just start to shoot up. And that, I'm looking for things that are accelerating, not decelerating. And this is decelerating at this particular point. So this is a daily chart on 10x. Let me show you the opposite, which is what I hoped would happen, Ethereum Classic. This is what I was hoping would happen with pay with 10x. So I'm making this video because, number one, I'm not perfect, OK? I'm not perfect at all. Pay was a losing trade. I chose to not get into Ethereum Classic. Um, I was going to get in off this trend line here. I did not. So whether that was a mistake, I, I guess it was because it didn't work out. But you tell me who could have called that 100%. I, I don't know anyone that can. Anyway, so I made a mistake going into pay. Ethereum Classic was the winner here. What, what do we see in the difference between these two? Let's do a little analysis. So Ethereum Classic here, we have this, this trend line. We have this, this large ascending wedge or descending wedge, I'm sorry, of this large, large descending wedge. This bottom was tested one, two, three, four times. This is a much larger pattern than pay. So maybe that is one clue. Maybe that's one thing where my analysis went awry. So let's check here. Let's draw a trend line. How many times did this particular one touch this trend line? Looks like we have one, kind of about two. Um, Another thing that could be playing out now that I'm looking at this is maybe this is too aggressive of a trend line. That happens as well. Maybe this is the trend line. Okay? This may be the new trend line. In fact, drawing this now, this feels a little bit better. The angle's less aggressive. Um, plus, this pullback in here means that this is just not ready yet. It's just not ready. So, if we go back here to, let me put these closer together so I know what I'm doing. Ah, Ethereum Classic. Sorry, guys, got confused with my own charts here. So we can we can also do this exercise here, right? We have a we have a trend line here that broke out and was and it dove right back into it, right? So here's a trend line that was broken to the upside but was sold into. So this wasn't ready yet. This was the proper trend line, right here. Okay. This is the proper trend line, and how do you know when you're drawing a proper trend line? Well, I will say when your trade doesn't work out, like pay just didn't work out, you drew an improper trend line. Now, you can't know the future. You can't know that this is the particular location that this is going to be in. But I can tell you, and I wasn't thinking this at the time, is that this particular trend line is very steep. It may not look steep, and it didn't really look that steep to me considering that we were kind of early, kind of early in this run coming out of these lows. But in hindsight here, hindsight being 2020, with the benefit of recent history, this is a better trend line. Okay, this is just a better trend line. So going back to Ethereum Classic, let's look at this. Look at the angle of this trend line. These kind of match now. Look at that angle. They very similarly match at, the, at about the same angle. And the angle of the trend line isn't as important as just drawing a good trend line. And trades work and trades don't. Pay was not a working trade. Ethereum Classic wouldn't have been a working trade here. But you give it room to consolidate. You exit your position if, you're, if your hypothesis doesn't work. And then you wait for consolidation. And then you, know, you wait for it to reform. And so Ethereum Classic, if you would have drawn this as your trend line, you would have been incorrect. The market would have told you here. The market told you here you were incorrect, like Pay just told me I was incorrect. And so you exit the trade and you wait for the you wait for the formation to to continue. You wait for the sellers to keep selling, you wait for them to exhaust themselves until it breaks out. And that's what happened here with Ethereum Classic. So the reason I didn't invest in Ethereum Classic was actually this bar right here, this large trailing top. Kind of scared me a little bit. Um, I should have and actually kind of lost track of it to be honest with you. It's been very hectic the past couple of days. One of my computers died. I've been busy at work. Life happens, and you, you lose track of these things. 
And I mean, this is very healthy action, healthy consolidation here. See, I even drew, drew a trend line here at some point, right? Let me just remove that. So we have an, a nice consolidation here with tight bar action. This is tight action, this is constructive. Notice there's not a lot of tight action happening in here. I mean, here's a little bit tight, but not really. It's kind of floating up. This is tight sideways action. This is accumulation, lack of selling. That's what this is. This is lack of selling. And then you get a pop-up consolidation and another pop-up with a huge move here. I mean, this is up, what, 25% it says in the past 20, 24 hours. So huge move here. I'm kind of, you know, not upset, but I wish I would have caught that. So, but this is more of an education video not to say you want to buy ethereum classic here um, i kind of want to wait for a pullback some kind of a consolidation maybe i'll enter i'm not sure yet but you know this is an education on this a tale of two coins one that worked one that didn't so pay uh this was a flawed trend line this was a flawed trend line and the market told me so because i got shaken out of my position right the market told me so this could base going up all the way here until about a week from now. Um, I don't really feel comfortable letting my money sit for a week in this while this consolidates further. To be honest with you, it may not even be an issue. Um, if you if you believe in te, in uh, 10x and pay, I'm a believer, but I'm more of a trader than a believer. To be on to be honest with you, and my history in the stock market, where moves like this fading you can hurt you a lot worse in the stock market. Excuse me, in the stock market. This could get broken out and continue to the downside. Um, the one difference between the stock market and the cryptocurrency market is that the stock market has a hundred years of history behind it. It has people that, that have been trading for years and decades. People that that is their career. That's what they do for a living. And they may not want to be in a stock for a long time, or they may want to be in a stock for a long time. Either way, these things can pull back very deeply and then they can then they can continue upward. In the cryptocurrency world, we don't see that as much. We literally see base after base after base after base. This is like cheating. I'll be honest with you. This feels like cheating because let's go back to Bitcoin here. Actually, I've never touched Bitcoin in this video, but so in the stock market, you get more of these types of moves where you get shaken out and run up and shaken out and run up and shaken out and run up. And granted, this is a prolonged bull move, but here, if I were to pull up, let me just pull up an actual stock because you can do that in trading view. Um, let's try Netflix. I don't actively trade Netflix. This could be a failed exercise. But let's pull up a chart of Netflix. So this is a chart of Netflix. As a trader, this is a daily chart of Netflix like that was a daily chart of Bitcoin. Look at how much more noise there is in here. Look at all these choppy moves. Chop, chop, chop down up down up down look at this look at this <laughs> just this little exercise right here right up down up down up down up down up down now let's go back here to bitcoin same time frame look at these massive runs i mean massive run and then you have a selling signal and then you stay out of it for a while then you get an, a buying signal and then you jump back in it and you're making 20 plus percent moves constantly constantly Let's look at Litecoin. Okay, a little bit of chop in Litecoin, but huge breakout here recently, right? Going to the moon. I mean, this chart didn't exist back here. This is noise compared to this move. This doesn't exist. Omisego, I mean, consolidation, pop, consolidation, pop, consolidation, pop, consolidation, pop. It's, it's nonstop. If you look at Netflix, the overall trend is up. Yes, that is true, but if you're trading this, this is very difficult to trade um, in, this, in the same way that this is very easy to trade. So my whole point in saying, my whole point in doing this, this particular exercise, let me get back to my, um, my pay here. <clears throat> this breakdown in pay that we just witnessed isn't necessarily a breakdown. It's a very short-term um, loss for me. It is a consolidation for the next move up. This is going to move up. All of these are going to move up in time. If you're trading these and you're having issues trading these, if you're having problems with um, coins moving against you, it means you're not giving them enough time. Everything in the cryptocurrency space will move up with time if you're in a quality coin, okay? I have some really non-quality coins down here that aren't as well traded, 
and we're seeing that in these types of these types of breakdowns. This is Adex. A buddy told me about this. This is Adex. This isn't a super quality coin, right? So we have a we have a move up and it came down, and then you know this is kind of what you're used to seeing in the stock market: a break of a trend line. Like you know, say you call this the trend line, it pops up and it continues lower and breaks lower than this than this low. Okay, so this is a lower break out of a out of a potential consolidation that never worked out. This rarely happens in quality coins. Rarely happens in quality coins. Uh, Monaco recently just had a, a large shakeout. I think this is a quality coin. This may be a decent entry place for a longer term um, point, to be honest with you. But getting back to our main point here, we have two fairly similar chart patterns, pay and Ethereum Classic. One didn't work and one did. And the reason being is because our chart pattern was a little flawed and the market corrected us and we're going to listen to the market and we're going to draw a trend line here and it's going to live here and then I'll, I'll re-enter pay maybe a little higher maybe here at, at 950 when it, if it decides to break out should I hold it here from 850 I could I could do that at the same time this could break lower like we saw with this at X coin right this could break lower like we saw with that at X coin I don't know if it's going to so I'm going to stay out of it so that's my that's my risk mitigation. That's how I deal with that. If my chart pattern fails me, if my hypothesis is wrong, I get out and I wait for a setup. So the tale of two coins, Ethereum Classic and Pay. Have a good day.